time to play everyone's favorite game, Should I Care About This? Let's meet our contestants. First, our defending champ, the barista who you bought coffee from this morning and whose hobbies include taking improv classes and writing free articles for HuffPo, it's Tina Fletcher. Thanks, Blake. It's a pleasure to be back. And second, she's a professor of international relations at UCLA. Please welcome Judy Tron. Thanks, Blake. Well, let's get started. I bring up a new story and you tell me whether it's important or not. First story, a U.S. destroyer fired a warning shot at an Iranian naval ship. Judy! Yes, that's very important. Mm, I'm sorry, but that is not important. Not <laughs> important. But that could start World War III. Sorry, Judy. Next question. Ryan Lochte was charged by Brazilian authorities with falsely reporting a crime. Tina! Absolutely important. Ryan Lochte represented the country at the Olympics, and his behavior represents the decline in values and integrity in America. That is exactly what I have written on my card. You are right! Wait, wait. We have 3.5 million people experiencing homelessness. 1.3 of them are children, and that's what is the decline of integrity and values? I don't... Judy, calm please calm down! Mansplaining! Mansplaining! Oh, and that is the next correct answer, Tina. You are ahead of the game. Let me take a chance now to uh, remind everyone how the game works. News stories on should I care about this are taken from a broad cross-section of this week's current events. Answers are derived from an algorithm measuring what people are talking about on your Facebook feed. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I know. Next question. North Korea just fired a missile from a submarine. Yes, that is very important. Um, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, all right, okay. Next topic, the Harambe meme is actually latent racism. What the hell is Harambe? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear about that. Tina? Absolutely important. The fact that people are able to be freely racist by satirizing the melodramatic reaction to the death of an ape is an abomination, and it needs to be stopped! Oh my god, okay, so that's what this is about, an ape. This is about an ape. <laughs> Not just any ape, Harambe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, that is the correct answer, Tina. Moving on, in the last two days, there have been 50 deaths from heroin overdoses in Cincinnati. Judy. Nope. Yep. Nope. <laughs> No, how, how, how could it be important, huh? How could it be important? How could a huge health problem that, that's seeping into an epidemic be important? No, good. Did I get it right? Is it, is it right? Uh, no, nope, Tina. Okay. Oh, no. Nope. Cincinnati is where Harambe died. Correct. So that's, because that's where the ape died. Cincinnati. That's, yep. <laughs> Moving on, Donald Trump's campaign manager is also the head of Breitbart Media, causing a huge conflict of interest. Judy! Okay, so this has to be important, right? Because like pop culture, public figure, running for president, this is important. Sorry, Tina! Donald Trump is just a character in John Oliver's TV show. <laughs> <laughs> Tina. By mentioning our patron saint of what we should care about, John Oliver, <laughs> you have automatically won! Great. I really cared about charter schools for 15 minutes when he talked about it. Miss there it is. Didn't we all? Join us next week on Should I Care About This? When we ask which matters more, 250 people die in an earthquake in Italy or the University of Chicago banned safe spaces. It's the first one! It's the first one! Shut up, Judy. Oh See you next week.